Justine and today I'm coming to you with a simple nail art tutorial. It's actually requested. Um, I usually, if you don't follow my Facebook page, then you will know that usually I put pictures up of um, what my nails look like on a weekly basis. Now, I don't always do tutorials necessarily on the pictures that I put up. Sometimes I like to just share what my nail color is or just some simple design that I did on my nails for the week. So a couple of people said that they really did like the design and asked, you know, could I show how I did it? So I said, sure. I didn't think that it was cute based on the pictures that I, I showed. I thought that um, it was cute to me, but I actually got a bigger response than what I expected, especially when I went out and people said that they liked it. So let me show it to you. Of course, I'll have pictures at the beginning, so you've probably already seen it. But this is what it looks like. Now, the first time I did it, I did not have a blue design nail. So this is my left hand. And then this is my right hand. And it's about time for me to take this off. I'll probably do my nails this weekend. And I actually broke my index finger, so, you know, whatever. So, for this tutorial, I use quite a few polishes. But before I go down what I use, I just want to remind you all that my 1,400 plus subscriber contest is now open. Um, different ways to enter, quite easy to win. So, check that out when you get a chance. And also, at the beginning of that video, I announced that on my website, my web store, that I'm actually doing a sale on my UV lamps, um, soak off gels, and my UV soak off gel kits. So the prices are like really good. And I just want to say thank you for everybody who's purchased from there. Thank you to all of my subscribers and all of my supporters. And so I just really want to give everyone a chance to really um, purchase something for a good price. My prices are pretty decent anyway, but I slashed them even more just to reward you all. And the UV lamps actually start at $12, I think. So I sell 9 watt and 36 watt. And the 9 watt comes in fuchsia and white. And then you also have the choice of a pink frog lamp or a green frog lamp. And the 36 watt comes in just white and it has a self timer on it. And the great thing about the sale is that you get the opportunity to get a lamp for a really good price as well as a full UV kit or you can get just the lamp and a clear gel um, or you can just buy the individual items, you know, for the same percentages as they would be um, packaged together. So I think that's pretty good. And with every purchase, you get a free glitter, which I have some really nice glitters for nail art. Um, my next tutorial will show you some glitter. And then you also get a free 3D design. Currently on the website, I only... At the moment of making this video, I only have 3D roses on there, and that's the really, really small ones that I have. Now, I've made quite a few different other ones since the website has launched. I just haven't had a time to get things put up. Again, I'm still recovering from going over a week without power and things of that nature and um, completely ramshacking where I live because I'm trying to pack up stuff in a hurry in the dark and stuff. So... When I get all that taken care of, finally, hopefully, if not this weekend, next week sometime, I can get all that stuff up. So I'm very excited about that. So enough about that. Let's talk about what I use for this gorgeous design. Um, starting off, base coat, you can use whatever kind of base coat you would like. I think for this one, I use Zoya's um, base coat. So then the color that I have on my nails is a gorgeous pink. It's almost like a raspberry pink. It's actually, oh, well, you can see the true color on my nails. I was about to say the bottle is kind of dark. But this is called High Res Raspberry. So like a raspberry pink. I like it. It's really cute. Oh, I have it on my toes too. Okay, I'll put some pictures of that at the beginning. I have on um, closed toe shoes right now. Okay, so then I have that. It's 
two coats of this color. Then for the design, I used a uh, kind of almost hot pink, hot pale pink, yeah, a pale bright pink um, nail art striper. And it's actually called light purple. But as you can tell, it's pink. It's really pink. And then the other one is called sky blue. So that's that one. And then I also, if you can't really tell, I have glitter. There you go. I have glitter on my nails as well. And this is called Gold Diamond. And as I mentioned in the video, this has flecks of blue, green, a little bit of purple, and gold. So, I mean, it's just a gorgeous color. Oh, you can see the flecks. Great lighting. So, that's great. And you're also going to need a dotting tool. And I sell these, so... I don't know. I just love it. I like the design. You all know my other dye tools are just clear with a little rub rubber handle on them. But I like these. These are so cute and stylish. So, got that one. And on for the dye tool, you're going to use the very small side. And I still got polish on there. I need to take off. And then top coat, I got Sitch Feet. I know I said that I wasn't purchasing Sitch Feet anymore. But Sally's actually had it on sale maybe two weeks ago. I need to stop buying nail polish. I said that I don't know how many times and I'm supposed to still be on a buying ban. But yeah, in the process of cleaning up and getting reorganized, I have found 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I found over 20 bottles of polish. Now... How did that happen? I, It's like I buy polish, but then I feel guilty about it because I have so much. So then I hide it, and then when it's time to clean up, I find it again. I'm like, oh. And then I end up buying the same color because I hit the first color. So it's just ridiculous at this point. I'm completely not going to buy anything else. So anyways. So yeah. So those are things that I use for this tutorial. I hope you all like it. Um, just comment below, let me know what you think, and let me know if this is something that you want to try, and don't forget about the contest and the sale going on at lovelysinstinct.com, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye! Okay, for the first design, we're going to do the pink. And so, you're going to take your striper brush. And make sure that you take enough polish off of the brush. And then you're gonna stop making noise. Make sure you get all your polish off of the brush. And then what I like to do is turn my finger like in a circular motion so that I'm completely covering the tip of the nail. And don't be worried if you don't cover the entire area that you want to initially. All you have to do is go back and cover it again. Let me turn off this light so that you all can see better. Okay, so there you have the first line. Next, what you're going to do is create two more lines under that one. You connect at the corner of it. And I like to go in like a U shape and then one up under that. And then that's the design on that finger. So let's do the blue design that I have. The blue and pink with the glitter. And so you're going to start off the same way that you do on all the other fingers. Go across the nail like so. And then from the corner, you're going to draw your two lines. One, two. And your lines can be as thick or thin as you would like them. I'm just going to add another line just because. Okay. So, that is your design finger. 
So let's go and finish off the regular nail like the rest of my four fingers as you can see focus camera that's better so let's finish this one finger I broke my nail earlier so don't pay that any attention okay so now in between the pink lines we're gonna take glitter polish and we're just going to use it as an accent. Make sure you get all the glitter off the brush so that a big clump of it doesn't fall off at once. And you just go between the lines. Uh oh. And see, that's the problem. We're having a big clump that comes off at once. And what I like about these nail, um, nail polish stripers is that they don't really mess up the polish underneath so make sure you get all the polish off the brush and then you go in between each line now if you feel like okay I went in between each line with the glitter but I think I put too much glitter on just simply take your pink and create another line and that's what I did with my thumb it looks like a lot more glitter than what it is but I just kept adding lines so that it didn't look as bad so there's another one and there's that design so we're gonna let that dry for a minute now for the design finger, you're simply going to take the blue polish and you're going to outline everywhere where the pink is. So simply go up under it and really over the lines, in between the lines and over them because you're outlining but you're also accenting. See? And you also want to make sure that you get all the polish off this brush as well. Okay, and then I'm going to finish it up by going across the top of the nail and underneath the bottom line. So there's another line. Watch my polish drip. I'm gonna slightly go across the lot, uh, slightly go across the top, <laughs> leaving a thin amount of pink. And there you have it. And just like on my finger, I added three little rhinestones in the corner of my finger. And there you can see them. And I went across the top on that finger. And there's that one. And this one I left the line off the top, but I added um, some blue dots and blue rhinestones. Now if you want to see how I do the rhinestones, well the dots in circular motion, simply take a white piece of paper, get you a little glob of the blue polish. Then you're going to take a very small dime tool, about that small, and then you're going to dip it in your polish just a little bit and just go around the nail art. Don't re-dip your dotter because your dots are supposed to get slightly smaller each time. And you can barely see that one on camera. And there you have it. So then to finish off this design, we're going to put the glitter accent somewhat in between the lines, but really on top of the design since it is um, completely covering the nail. And 
And if you don't have rhinestones, then just put a dot of glitter in the top corner. So we're going to let that dry for a minute and we're going to go ahead and finish off the regular nail with the top coat. Because it is dry now. And that's one of the things that I like about Sage B is that it gives your nail art a very high gloss shine and plus it dries pretty quick. So there you have it on that one. And because it doesn't take this polish to dry um, very long, I'm going to go ahead and put the top coat on it as well. And there you have it. Okay, so this is the final design. Very simple. I wouldn't say quick, depending on how steady your hand is. But I love it. Ignore my broken nail. But I love it. It's such a cute design. And that's about it. So let me know what you think. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.